Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CHK. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it has a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. So today was pretty much kind of a, a couple ways you could phrase it, a, a gap and trap, or just a, a big old little, not a big old, but a little miniature pump and dump. Pump and dump meaning, you know, the price didn't make a great move, so it was down there, went all the way up there this morning, and then from there it just totally went, essentially all the way back to where it started. So of course I'm not calling the company itself a pump and dump, I'm just calling how the price acted a pump and dump. So from a price action perspective, either a gap and trap pump and dump, you could call it either one of those. But the interesting part here, and this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have traded for a while, is that you know after the pretty brutal action, so after that gap up where the price you know was up there, some poor souls bought right there, and then it went all the way down there, the price has now started to go sideways. Now don't get me wrong, and I really wish trading was this easy where I could say that because the price has been beaten down, and now that it's going sideways, this is for sure going to bounce. No such thing as a for sure, but is it at least logical to say that, yeah, it's looking like maybe this could bounce. Yeah, that's logical, and it's a rational thought to have. So $2 is gonna be that key level of support going into next week, and this is not like some sort of great discovery on my part in regards to $2. And I bring that up because when a lot of eyeballs are watching and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. You know, it can produce some pretty interesting price dynamics. And that's what that $2 mark is representing. So a lot of people are, are certainly gonna be watching that area. Now in the event this is indeed the true level of support in some sort of bottom, and the price starts to bounce back upwards, let's talk about a couple areas of resistance. Initial area of resistance, if there is any sort of bounce, gonna be right here at, uh, let's see, what is that? $2.05, and then after that, keep an, just eye on the overarching level of resistance, which is that purple line right there which on my chart denotes the famous 50 period simple moving average. So keep your eye on these couple levels here. Very interesting setup going in. Of course, as always, you gotta be very uh, risk aware, be, uh, and, but if you can be disciplined and you know do your risk analysis, then yeah, this could be a very good risk versus reward situation. So we'll see how next week plays out. Everybody have a great Memorial Day weekend. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.